What is going on over your people? <laughs> Today, y'all, we are going to be talking about the bass spawn, and the big one is we're talking about bed fishing. Bed fishing is right around the corner, and it's that magical time of year when a mommy bass and a daddy bass love each other very much. They decide to make this little sand circle and put babies in it. It is a great, great time for us fishermen. It allows us to actually go up shallow, see the bass, see them t bite it, see them hit it, see them blow up on them baits. It is just an amazing time of year. It's pretty much like Christmas for fishermen. But anyway, that's what we're talking about today is we're talking about bed fishing, what to do with bed fishing, what you need, what are the requirements, and what are my top four favorite, ba favorite baits for bed fishing. Now to start, the main thing you need when bed fishing is number one on the list, guys. And that is a good pair of polarized glasses. It does not matter what type of polarized glasses you have, just make sure they are a good pair of polarized glasses. These right here are some spider wire. These are Walmart, these are like 12 bucks, and they're polarized, and I've had them uh, surprisingly for a few months now. They haven't broke on me. Usually I go through sunglasses pretty quick because I am not gentle with these guys. But just make sure you have a, a good pair of polarized glasses. Now to make sure they're polarized, most of the time you can look right in here on the lid and you'll see in little tiny white letters it'll say polarized and that is what you want to get right there it's a really really good pair of polarized shades again it does not matter you can have costas if you want to spend that money if you got that type of money spend them costas or you can go to walmart and get you a cheap five ten dollar pair as long as they're polarized and they allow you to see in the water better and <clears throat> and spot them big bass that is all that you need right there is a good pair of polarized glasses again does not matter the price all right so now let's jump into baits that you need for bed fishing. Number one is uh, the pretty obvious one. Now uh, let's talk about colors real quick before we jump into baits, my bad. So colors, color is important. And now color all depends on your area that you live in. Now for me, for example, cause this is where I live. I live in Texas, I know the waters. The water here in Texas are pretty much dirty. They are dirty, they are chocolate milk dirty. They are the color of this couch brown. It is, it's dirty. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not kidding. So my color of choice when it comes to bed fishing is just a color that sticks out, it's vibrant and allows me to see it in the water and allows me to see if it disappears or not when a bass engulfs it. So my color of choice is white. Now my first bait here is the white zoom lizard of course, this is the 6 inch zoom lizard, the regular size one not the junior, you can get the junior if you want but I like the regular size because a bigger profile, something bigger for me to see, more line of sight, you know what I mean? So I choose the lizard and for obvious reasons, of course. It's a creature bait. It has all of these phalanges right here, these ribbons. So what it really allows you to do is, my favorite technique is to take a Texas rig, right? Put a uh, quarter ounce weight on this bad boy, depending on how deep you are. If you're like just like two to three feet deep, definitely a quarter ounce. If you're any deeper, go ahead and throw in a three eighths ounce or a fifth ounce, something like that, and get it down deep. But what you wanna do is have it on a Texas rig, right? Put your uh, bobber stopper right there to blo block the weight and you're gonna put it right there in that bed and you're gonna start shaking your rod, just the tip, just a little bit, just to shake it. And what's gonna happen is that vibration is gonna hit that line and it's gonna come down and hit this bait and that bait is just gonna start doing this in that bed. And that is gonna drive that male bass absolutely freaking crazy. And it's gonna drive him wild. Now, one thing you wanna watch when you're bed fishing is the first fish you're probably gonna see and it's usually a little bit smaller one is that male bass because that male bass will stay on that bed and guard that bed but y'all want to be careful and this is when you're really gonna have to use your eagle eyes is when you pull up on that bed stay back and then look right outside that bed about three four feet out and usually almost 99 percent of the time that big female is just hanging out watching that male on that bed just waiting just chilling. So be careful when you pull up on that bed. Don't see that fish and just start like start throwing at it, okay? Scout out and look around for that female because if you can find that female, 90 times out of 10, she will bite, she will bite. And you might have to aggravate her, okay? But we'll, we'll get into that in here in just a second. But anyway, back to this bait. Uh, this is my number one go-to, Texas rig style, of course. Put it on that bed, shake it around, and really just aggravate the heck out of them bass. So number one, moving on to number two, we're going into a more finesse technique, and that is of course the white trick worm. Why the trick worm, you say? 
there's three different ways you can fish it. Uh, of course, you can do the Texas rig like we just said. You can wacky style it where you just throw it in the bed like this and just let it sit there and just shake it in front of the bass. Gonna do the same thing the lizard did. It's gonna shake. It's really gonna agitate the bass. And then the number, uh, the third one you can do <clears throat> is the shaky head way. Is when you know you have your weight down here and you hook it right here and it kind of just stands up in the bed. That is another really good representation. It's not just falling down, just sitting there like that. It's not. It's not doing nothing doing that. So when you have it stand up like this and that tail just kind of slowly falls down, that's giving it more and more action. So that's really what you want to look for is color, so you can see and action. Now moving away from the soft plastics, we're getting in the hard plastics, we're getting in the big boys. Uh, this one right here is the white uh, Six Cents Divine Swim Jig with the head, so y'all can see that really cool head that they put on there. Now this is a 3 8 ounce, it has a 5 aught stout hook, and I'm talking about stout boys, and a really really soft weed guard. Now why does that soft weed guard matter? Well this is something that bass do when it comes uh, spawning time and bedding time, is they do this really cool technique that Fishermen absolutely hate. I hate it. It really pees me off when they do it. But they do this really cool suck in, suck out technique where they, go, where they suck in the bait and they'll turn real quick and they blow it out out of the bed. They actually do that. And a lot of times when you get on a really, really smart bass, they'll keep doing it real quick. They'll suck it in, they'll very slowly nose down on it, suck it in, then blow it out immediately. It just Oh, it ticks me off. It really, really chaps my khakis, guys. You have no idea. So that's why I chose this one as a really, really good bait to use during the bed fishing is because it has that super, super soft weed guard. So as soon as it goes in their mouth, that's going down. You got this really, really stout hook, super sharp, super big. And anywhere the bat, bass bites on the bait, if it bites at the tail, as long as that hook is going in their mouth, it's an absolute catch. You're gonna be able to set that hook on them really good. It's got that super stout hook. So no matter how big the bass are or how big it is, you, or how fast you have to snatch back on that rod to set that hook, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That stout hook is gonna hold up. So that's another really good reason why I like this one. And the hair on it, when you when you just like coast it right across that bed, you drop it in, those hairs just kind of flare. And that uh, fluke tail, cause it's a fluke trailer back here, that fluke tail is gonna shake back Back and forth just like that it's gonna give really good action in the bed and it's gonna sh and it's gonna mimic a bait fish dropping in their bed going after their spawn and they do not want that at all so that's another really good reason to use the swim jig right here now another one is it, it says swim jig on the bag but it looks just like a giant football head so that's why I got it but it's the hack attack it is the select series swim jig this is a half ounce also in the white color now you really only want to use this if you're going down deep and I'm talking four or five feet plus deep. Really deep down there. I'm talking so deep that you have to put on your glasses and you have to do this, that deep. We have to take the double take. And you're probably only gonna see like a little, 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 little tiny piece of sand down there. It's just a white color. And occasionally you're gonna see like a black shadow cruise over that like clear piece. And that's really what you really gotta like look out for it because that's where the big ones are. So in that case, you're gonna use this one. It is a half ounce. It's gonna get down there quicker. You're gonna be able to feel down there because when it's so deep and you can't see, you really gotta trust your your feel and how it feels on your rod. So you're gonna bounce, you're gonna feel those rocks, you're gonna feel those rocks, and all of a sudden it's gonna go smooth. And that's probably where the bed's gonna be, is that smooth patch because the bass will fan it out and make it where it's just pretty much just complete sand, no rocks, no nothing in that bed. So it's gonna be really, really smooth. So that's what you're gonna wanna feel for when you drop this big half ounce down there and you're gonna feel for that really smooth, smooth area. And then you're gonna land them. But guys, those are my four baits that I got for y'all. Please, please remember, your polarized glasses because if you don't have these it's going to be really difficult to see them bass especially when they're down deep and especially seeing them females when they're really hiding off three or four feet away from the bed because they will hide from you but guys those are my go-to baits for the bed fishing this year it is right around the corner it is about to start we are coming into the end of february it is about to be march it is going to be a magical time of year I'm excited. The past couple years, uh, hitting all these lakes here in East Texas, guys, and just going bed fishing has been an absolute blast. It's been the highlight of my year, especially my fishing year. I absolutely love it. I cannot explain it enough, guys. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please take these baits out this year to do some bed fishing. Let me know if you catch some giant lunkers on them, guys. I'd love to hear it. Please drop in the comments. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. Please give me the big thumbs up on this video. If you haven't already, please hit that notification bell so you can get notified for more awesome videos and fishing tips just like this, guys. I love y'all. I will catch y'all in the next one. Good luck this year. Y'all keep it real. Peace.